So I see that you're gonna be making some decisions, but unfortunately they're all gonna be like totally terrible. Wait, what? Like what decisions? Like all of your decisions. Because like this is what that card means, I think. Yikes. Now that is absolutely a reading that you do not want to have. Hi, my name's Ethany. I am a tarot reader, tarot deck creator and teacher, and I have been doing this tarot magic for over 20 years. So I have quite a bit to say on this subject. I'm going to share with you some of the things that may come up when you're getting a tarot reading that are definite red flags and are an indication that your tarot reader is less than professional. My first red flag when you are getting a reading is that your reader is referencing or using a guidebook to look up the card meanings. Uh, I don't actually know. Let me just... Uh... <laughs> Not still bad. Why are you looking up the meaning in the book? I thought you were a professional. Now, before shots are fired across the interwebs with your commenting, I know you were about to do it. I'm not talking about when you're learning and you are a student. I coach and mentor so many students in regards to their tarot practice. And I do say to them, look, use the books and resources you have with you. But if you have paid for a professional reading and they are using the guidebook to look up meanings of the cards, you are in trouble, honey. You need to get out of that reading and get your money back. Roll runner. Run. Meet, meet, that tarot reading suck. Meet, meet. Tarot is a system and learning the card meanings and how to do a tarot reading properly is all part of being a professional. If you are charging for a reading and saying that you are a tarot professional, you have to have a level of experience and skill to back that up. The second red flag is when your tarot reader is telling you that you need multiple expensive sessions or they want to keep you on a hook. Even worse is when they try and get you to pay a large amount of money up front. This is a definite <clears throat> red flag. If their sessions are super expensive and they want you to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars sometimes even thousands and say, oh, we're going to book you in for once a week for the next 12 weeks, run. That is someone who's just keeping you on a hook and want to milk you for money. The third red flag is if your tarot reader is constantly using victim blaming language. So if your reader is saying that everything is your fault and that you put yourself in this situation and you manifested trauma or abuse, you need to get out. Run. Victim blaming is not cool and it does not belong at the table when it comes to tarot. If your reader is using victim blaming language and not trying to empower you, then it is a red flag that they are not a professional. The fourth red flag in a tarot reading is when your tarot reader is using a disempowering language and trying to take away your power. What I mean by that is when they say that everything is out of your control, you have no choices, there's nothing you can do, there's no new perspective that you can take, there's no allies that you have, there's no road forward and you are completely helpless. That is complete bullshit when it comes to most people's lives. Yes, some people are in very difficult situations and readers, I believe, have to be able to handle sensitive information and know what is in their wheelhouse and what isn't. But what I'm talking about is you have more power in your life than you may understand. And if you're going to a tarot reader and they're trying to take that power away from you and telling you that you are cursed and that you are like have all these things, mm -mm. you need to run away and demand your money back. There's a lot of running in this video. Get your tarot cardio going. We're gonna run away from those dodgy readers. The next red flag that you may experience in a reading is that your life is all doom and gloom. So when your reader predicts that everything that you do is going to turn out terribly, your milk is going to turn sour, no one's going to return your calls, your days are going to be terrible, everything is wrong. If someone is basically gloom forecasting you, that is a sign that your tarot reader is maybe not the best reader and not the reader for you. The next red flag is when a tarot reader insists something happened in your past that you know didn't happen. Now, I know this sounds a little crazy, but this has actually happened to friends of mine and I was there and witnessed it. So this person had a 
tarot reading and a specific card came up and the tarot reader was adamant that whenever that card came up, there was a specific type of abuse that happened in this person's life, in their past. And she was like, mm, no, I know what happened in my past. It absolutely didn't happen. But this tarot reader was consistently trying to make her believe that that did happen. So if that sounds a little like may not occur, believe me when I say that I've heard a lot of different feedbacks when it comes to getting readings. And some people will try to convince you something happened when it absolutely didn't. Needless to say, this is a red flag. The next red flag is when they insist that you're cursed. <sighs> Look, I have an entire video about is your tarot reader scamming you? Go check it out if you want my thoughts and opinions on those sorts of subjects. But if your tarot reader is saying that you're cursed or a piece of jewelry of yours is cursed or your family line is cursed, red flag. <laughs> Big, fat, red, flat. And finally, if your spider senses, if your witchy feelings, if your intuition and gut are telling you something is wrong and you don't feel comfortable, that is an ultimate red flag. You have every single right to stop a reading and leave. Do not sit through something that is uncomfortable and doesn't feel right just because you don't want someone to be upset with you. So what do you do when these red flags happen and you're getting a reading? Well, know that you also have the ability to say no. Even though you have gone to a professional for a service, you have every right to put your boundaries in place as well. You paid the money for the service if you're getting a professional reading and you have offered to be present in that exchange if you're doing a reading for exchange. If you feel uncomfortable, just end the reading. Not everyone's gonna be comfortable enough to ask for a refund, for example, but you do not have to sit through it as I've mentioned before. So I'm gonna ask for my money back because you're pretty much telling me that my entire life sucks and I'm pretty sure it doesn't. So refund. Thankfully, I have only heard a few horror stories, but there are enough out there that I wanted to talk a little bit about the red flags of getting a reading, but empower yourself as much as possible and find a good reputable reader. This is a spiritual high five. Do you wanna know how to find a reputable reader? If you think that is a topic that would interest you, let me know and I will make a video on that very subject. Remember, I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I'll see you all next time.